Good morning guys and welcome back to a new vlog starting from a very different and new location but over the moon with it, excuse the building work. Um, when we came to view the house there was no building work and now they've actually um, they've actually put like borders up in front of the house so I think they're doing like proper work so I'm trying to see if I can um, meet the builders just to kind of get an idea of what's going on and how long it's going to be but to be fair over the weekend they don't work which is amazing and then yeah I guess during the week but hopefully hopefully it'll calm down my mother's looking after me Hi. <laughs> it's Monday now so we are going to head out to Notting Hill go to like Dalesford and like all those little shops and look around there and then we're going to go to John Lewis because we have a few things we need to pick up for the house but I'm in my new humble abode I'll do a tour when it's like a bit more organized because I've got still stuff down there but um yeah nearly there so I'm really excited but um yeah I'm hungry now so let's go I think we're gonna go Dalesford um, which I've never been to this one but it's quite a big one so excited to see In the summer. Yeah. yeah. It's all the the cabbages. Oh, so this is what Emma had at the beach house. Kind of oh, stunning! Sorry, I'm vlogging like, away. It was so beautiful. So we're at the Dalesford in Notting Hill, and it is wonderful. Look at these little baskets, Mum. So pretty. I do want to get is these. I really want to get some organizers. Little storage. I don't know what I want them for though. Do you get what I mean? You know, like maybe I want to get something so I can display on the counter. Yeah. Nice for your pasta. Yeah. They're really nice. Do I get like a branded or <clears throat> I mean I like these for um Leftovers. They're cute, aren't they? That's a good one. For in the fridge. Little cheese cutters. Oh, I wonder if they've got a... I've got a bottle opener. I just need like a little... I need a can opener. That's a nice. I love that size. Oh, I love that tray. These stunning. I love these cups. Do you like them? Nine pound a cup. The trays. So that's pretty. So nice. Just in Dalesford. This is the shop area. And oh my goodness. This is literally one of my locals, which is very dangerous. It's just so beautiful in here. They just have like all the local butchers and everything. And then also they've got this like Easter little section here. Oh, this is a very fabulous, very fabulous Dalesford. Love it here so much. We've just ordered, we just picked up um, a little ramekin tray storage thing. We've both picked up chili jam because we love the containers itself and we're big 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 fans of chili jam so you get two for the price of one which is very clever we just got some coffees and we're gonna mooch around outside but I want to go and spot this area as well that looks lovely but yeah the Notting Hill Dalesford is fabulous just in the white company this is inspo for the little outside area by the kitchen window boxes no but yeah no it's so pretty in here so nice and these are fake these are amazing now we're in kitchen heaven in the white company oh look see i love that that's lovely i got mom and dad one of these from h m home 45 that's not bad and then look at the little herb 
Oh, they've got glasses here as well, actually. Might see how much those are. 26. So these are oh yeah, nice. those, £26 for four. Should I check in John Lewis as well though? Or 38. I don't really need those ones, the goblets. Yeah. So pretty in here. Hello guys. Oh my goodness, it is. Oh, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea actually. I'm gonna use one of my MH living mugs. Peppermint tea. I had an English tea earlier the other day and it was actually really nice because it is quite yeah, I might have a little coffee, a little cup of tea. Um my parents had it. It's really lovely. I've just ordered a um, delivery from Sainsbury's and I did it through Deliveroo and it was really good because I forgot I had credit from a food order we did, Hells and I, and um, my curry was spilt so they really kindly like refunded my dinner so I used that to get a little shop because the Tesco's near me is it's okay but it doesn't have everything that I want but yeah whilst that's brewing I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing with you to show you what I got so first up from Dalesford I picked up one of those one of those like Tupperware pots I think I'm going to collect these but I wanted to see if I really like got on with this one um it was 12 pounds and I thought that was actually really good and it's really pretty and it's from a company called pebbly but we saw that zara and like h&m had similar ones as well i also got i think i was showing you i also got the chili jam because it came in this jar and i do like to collect like these similar like types of jars so i thought like you can buy a jar like this in dalesford for the same price as the chili jam and i'm really excited to try the chili jam this is the dalesford tomato and chili j i didn't realize as well you can get Dells were delivered to my house. It's ridiculous living here. Honestly, I'm over the moon. So yeah, so I picked that up. Then, what else have I got? Um, I did my light bulbs. I did my outside one, which ran, ran out. I also got from the white company a diffuser because i didn't realize actually how oh, sorry about that i just spoke to lorenzo because he's been away i had to pause then because laurie was just about to go to bed and obviously like time difference with barley and um, so it was midnight for him there and four o'clock for me here but i've just received a the sainsbury's order from delivery which was fabulous um but anyway yeah i got some utensils i went to pro cook and i got some bits and bobs so i got um, it, they had a deal for free for eight, uh, free things for eight pounds. So I got a spatula, scissors, and um, a knife. Got a can opener. Very exciting. A jug. It's actually a really nice one. It was like a little plastic one. And I also got. So excited for this. I love. Helena had the actual like Le Creuset, but um, I went to Pro Cook and they had this one, and it was forty pounds in the sale. I just thought that was beautiful and it's going to last a lifetime, cook on top of the hob, but also in the um, in the oven as well. So it's so multi-purpose. So we got that. Um, also got, I showed you that, got some storage boxes as well. And then um, yeah, so I'm going to just get bits and bobs together and like put everything away. Obviously I just said I did a, a little Sainsbury's haul from, Sainsbury's shops from Delivery, which was handy. Um, oh yeah, I think I was on. I was ch chatting about this. So I have a neon diffuser, and Mum and I went into a White Company to go and get some bits. And I just thought they were ten pounds. They last forever, and I got the Seychelles. Um, that smells so lovely. So I'm gonna put that on. I also got a candle from Soak Sunday, and that's beautiful as well. Honey and oat scented candle, and it says sink into your soul and emerge internally glowing I really like that it's really pretty um so yeah so i'm gonna unpack all of this and organize bits and then to you in a minute another hour another another cupboard i'm just kind of going through all my uh home insurance and things like that so i'm gonna make some dinner and then continue with oh they got emails sitting next to the computer and doing some work 
And um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little stir fry. And I'm just, it's kind of like my first night on my own cooking dinner, which is very wonderful. I am so bad. I really enjoy moments like this on my own. I'm quite a, I do miss, like I'm excited for like when Laurie comes home, obviously. But I'm such an introvert, like obviously like, I've had my parents here this weekend, which is so fun, so amazing, like so wonderful, like having time with them and just them doing up my house. Oh my God, like honestly, angels. Um, but now I'm like, I'm, I'm winding down now. I'm exhausted. Um, so socially exhausted, mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. Uh, so yeah, really excited to just really want to get all this home stuff done. And then I can really relax, which is really nice. But I have got a really fun weekend, which is all oh, good. I'm just gonna be using my um, my new storage bowl from Dalesford to put my tofu in. It's wonderful, cute. So yeah, so I've still got loads of bits to do. I need to get some bins. I need to do like an IKEA order. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been really like. I'm really excited to just get this place going and I'm feeling really at home which is just so lovely and like it's so nice to see the backgrounds behind me and like it's just all new obviously I really miss my kitchen but that was the best part about that house I think obviously being with house um where this is like all singing and dancing which is just very very happy so yeah so I'm having a little moment in my place cooking doing some work absolutely loving it it's actually really nice as well having separate dining room kitchen lounge space so yeah i wish i filmed the process of us moving in here just don't know how people do it like honestly hands down to you guys who vlog moving out and moving in because it actually the the way i was like describing it to like my mom and dad it's like you know when you go to when you go on holiday and the stress of before getting to the airport because you're scared about the luggage being too heavy or you've forgotten something like and then when you get through security you're like okay now i'm on holiday everything was fine like you got through like that's literally how i feel about moving home i was just so stressed to vlog it so now we are out of the tunnel we're out of baggage security i can now go back to working to vlogging so yeah very happy now she's a happy girl really excited to get the ball rolling with you guys i think what i'm gonna do is tomorrow i've got i've got my workout and then i've got a day at home actually i've got some jobs to do but i think i'll do a clean up and like clean the house so it's all really because i've still got boxes and stuff everywhere and then i'll kind of do a home tour and things i'm planning to do and everything so yeah really excited so i'm gonna carry on dinner and i will catch you guys in a bit Served. I'm gonna crack on with some admin and I will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. I hope you are doing well So I'm coming to you on a Thursday now I feel like it's been a proper whirlwind and I keep apologizing, but it's just so up in the air at the moment I'm just trying to settle in anyone who vlogs whilst moving settling in you are a pro I don't know how you do it just mentally not in that uh, state of mind But I wanted to come on here as part of this vlog because as this goes live the day after my SVP collaboration is going live so I think I've spoken about it a little bit and briefly over the last couple of vlogs but my friend Sarah who owns a company called SVP this is the branding on the ring package very kindly done a collaboration with one's self so I thought I'd go through the rings with you whilst I wait for my lovely friend Sarah to turn up to do some shooting so I have done a collection of free rings. All rings cost £49 each. If you want to buy free from the collection, like free rings, if you want to buy the whole collection, you can get 20% off, which I think is worth 117 all in all, and also makes the cost of these rings from 49 to 39 which is incredible so if you yourself wants to get the whole collection or you and your friends want to get together and if you are interested in buying one of the rings then you can kind of do like a bundle deal you can also get some for like yourself or your mother or your nan for mother's day really lovely birthday gifts 
I absolutely adore this company, not only obviously because maybe I'm biased because she is one of my friends, but I just absolutely adore the quality of them. I love how close she how closely she works with the manufacturers in India. She goes out there quite a lot if when it's like normal uh, to India to go and check on the warehouse and how they're getting along. Uh, she has a massive story about it, like, and it's just so beautiful, and I just love it so clever as well that this, I'll show you individually, they are one size, so they are adjustable, you can see the band at the back here, the band at the back is like a squeeze, so what I've put it on is this plinth, which actually is like a nice little ring holder, but also as well, um, it's a size and um, you can make it bigger or smaller you just have to drag it down to the bigger side or pinch it at the top here but yeah so super excited so if i show you the collection so we have three rings like i said so the first one is this rose quartz oval mini ring and i think it's so beautiful and with that it comes in a really lovely box and it comes with a card which gives you the meaning so the rose quartz is love me unconditionally rose quartz is one of the most powerful stones to aid self-healing it is said to be vibrant with an energy of pure love and light this stone is perfect for anyone who suffers from any kind of past neglect a broken heart or a traumatic incident revolving around love and then the chakra is heart so they have a little bit of a meaning behind them as well, which I think is really lovely and special. Then you have the tiger's eye, which is in this rectangle. It's in this rectangle cut. And rec the tiger's eye is quite like 90s, it's quite 70s, which is really fun. The tiger's eye is ground me. The tiger's eye is said to guard against ill wishes from others whilst warding off negative emotions and thoughts. It can be used to release fear and anxiety by helping with regrounding and rebalancing. Chakra, root, sacral, and solar plexus. If this means anything to you, let me know. But yeah, we really fought hard about uh, the stones we wanted to use, not only on the colours, but the meanings behind them. This is my favourite. This is the rainbow moonstone. Um, I've had a few of Sarah's rings in this stone and in the light, in the bigger cut, it reflects a rainbow, it's so beautiful. But this is like the bigger rectangle and like I said, all of them are £49, but this is my absolute favourite one. So the rainbow moonstone is show me clarity. Rainbow moonstone is used for the healing of the heart and balance. It is good for meditation to help get insight and clarity about yourself. If you're at an emotional crossroads in life, rainbow moonstone can help to show you the way. And the chakra is sacral, third eye and crown. And they are just so beautiful. So what I love about these as well is that you can layer them and also as well you can layer them with um, the other SVP rings. But my favourite look is like that and then the tiger ring on my index finger. I think that looks really pretty and you can only get the free for, uh, you can only get the free for 20% off from my collection. You can get free of that one, you can get, it doesn't matter which one out of the collection but it has to be from the collection to get the discount. But yeah, I'm so over the moon with the collection. I really hope you guys like it and like I said, it's going live on the 11th of March, which is a Friday at lunchtime. So definitely go and check that out. Me and Sarah are going to be doing a live over on, I believe, her Instagram, but I'll save it onto mine. And yeah, there'll be lots of videos and photos along the way. Sarah, my other photographer Sarah, is just about to arrive to do some shooting of it really quickly, just because she's been very busy with Fashion Week. And yeah, really excited to get going with that. So I'm gonna shoot this, do some sofa photos, and then do a couple outside and then I think we're gonna go and get a Joe and the Juice. And then my lovely darling husband Helena is coming for a sleepover tonight which will be just so lovely. And I'm gonna cook for her, I've got some moochie balls, we're gonna have some champagne. Very excited, very lovely day. I was supposed to go out last night but unfortunately one of my friends was ill. But I feel like that was a little blessing in disguise because I feel good for today. 
but yeah excited to get on with the day and then i'll leave this vlog here i hope you enjoy today hello oh god <laughs> oh yes you, you probably don't want to be filmed no. do you? i'm with sarah shooting i'll probably put you on a time lapse actually whilst we where should i put this should i do uh, where's yeah. the light should i go against the light we can do a backlit moment yeah For a Joe and the Juice date. What's the time? I don't know. It's only 12.50, maybe on a lunch. How? I was gonna you how Sarah's gone for Serena ham. Yummy. And I went for spicy tuna. That was a lovely afternoon with my Sarah. Just came home to a lovely delivery from my brother and his girlfriend. They sent me some gorgeous, what, well, Laurie as well, some beautiful parrot tulips oh, they're so beautiful oh thank you very much my darlings and that's from brown for flower bx so i'm gonna put them in some water before they because they were outside my house when i went for my during the juice so very very i love flowers so yeah so just did a shoot with sarah and now it's a go with the editing i need to edit everything in time for tonight to send over to other sarah ring sarah and then helen is coming over so i'll start cooking for that i need to put all my shoot stuff as well because i've just exploded clothes everywhere but yeah how beautiful oh my god i love these love tulips so much they're just so classic beautiful i wonder which one now so pretty but yeah i think i'm gonna go and put these in the lounge and put them on the sofa i've got like a little cute chopping board i might put them on <laughs> Hello guys so i'm all set up now i've actually changed as well i changed into more of a working from home attire because i literally lived in that jumper and i want to wear that jumper tomorrow as i'm off to an event early i'm going to an event with 111 skin and it's a co-box class in the marlebone one so i'm really excited for that so i thought i'd save that for then so i just thought i'd put on some actual clothes because all i've done is lived in like sweatshirts and leggings i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm still in leggings but look a bit more smarter on top also layers are very good um, i feel like this actually suits the home i need to do a tour i promise i will do a tour but i'm just currently at the desk with a cup of tea a glass of water i've just had a couple of dates because ugh, i love dates at the moment i mean i've always loved dates i've just obsessed with them i think i'm just lacking energy at the moment so grabbing those instead of like a chocolate bar or something is obviously a lot better also they're just really high in iron and magnesium so maybe i'm deficient in something or lacking something so yeah really good to get those nutrient intakes in also very good as fiber if anyone's struggling to go to the loo anyway that was tmi but um yeah no so i'm just going through the photos i'll actually show you so what i'm doing is doing a just doing some selects for some pictures for SVP which show off the ring wearing the rainbow moonstone here this one's my absolute favorite it actually looks like an engagement ring absolutely beautiful I've also got some interview and answers to reply to so that's what I need to do this afternoon yeah so I feel like it's a job that feels like it would literally take like 10 minutes but there's a lot and also as well the files that Sarah shoots on obviously because it's raw and very high quality me means that the they take up a lot more room and are a little bit slower so I need to go through them and then I need to airdrop myself to do a little edit and so hopefully I will try and get these back to other Sarah Sarah SVP <laughs> very confusing in the neck of time as we are launching tomorrow which is so exciting so yeah so I'm gonna get on with this now and I will catch you guys in a bit <laughs> champagne and olives that means one thing baby hells is here we're reunited mm -mm. oh these are lovely these are like mm. lemony ones obviously went to waitrose she's oh, changed it but we're here oh, no. yay we're united hells is topping herself up ignore this bit over here but i just cooked us a delightful dinner we've got some cod with some coconut rice, some like kind of like a miso soy sauce, zhuzhi thing, homemade salsa verde, chili jam, and my baby Gail! Oh, it's so weird, isn't it? 
I'm gonna tuck into this and enjoy. I don't know if that's even gonna be a good. 